Welcome to another edition of the story behind the car and today we're with Phil and he's a repeat and I'll show you why this is his I kind of jack, jacked you up Phil but just a second so this is your cousin's truck and we shot that yep and then this is your car and we've shot this right and then this is your 1969 Mustang Mach 1 correct and it's a 351 Windsor yes yes Windsor four barrel four speed car got air on it factory air yeah holy cow yeah so and how long have you had it you said you bought it somewhat recently yeah about three years ago uh, I uh, well my first car when I was uh, 16 years old I started out with a 69 Mustang Mach 1 an Acapulco blue one with the 394 speed and uh, I sold it to get a boat and boat's gone so's the car yeah so I got another car yes so outstanding these were my favorite body style and they're they're still pretty popular so. yeah now I know a lot of time has passed but do you recognize the difference between the 390 and the 351 yeah I mean a little that it 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 had there was more to that car it was, yeah it was more of a performance car when I bought that car it was no power steering, no air conditioning. The only power it had was power brakes to stop it. Yes. And it had a uh, uh, positive track rear end, so if you got on that one real hard, it had to push button radio in there, and if it started bouncing, it'd pop all the buttons out. Holy. And you'd lose your radio <laughs> settings. So it had, it had a little more pep than this one. Yeah. But, you know, this runs fine for what it is. So is this the original paint? Oh, I don't think it's all original. It, yeah, it's, it's it's been loved a few times, you know, yeah. over the years. But it's original color on the car. Yeah, and it's called uh, Metal Arc Yellow. And uh, I did. Uh, that's neat to the Mach One that that plastic rubber insert that's made into carpets and. Oh, okay. And oh, the other thing this car's got is a tachometer dash in it, which is an option they didn't all have that and I don't know if you know these you got these rim blow steering wheels I, I did the not steering wheel like yeah. that and I knew the Barracuda had it blows the horn on yeah them. I so, didn't know that the Mustang had it that's pretty yeah. wild you squeeze it feel that yeah yeah that is cool I didn't know that and then we got now when I got it it didn't have this I added that fold down back seat and I always thought those were cool yeah and that's 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 an option to the car but I I acquired that I went to Chicago and got that from a guy and rebuilt it all and painted it all and that must have been uh, expensive and hard to find and yeah the, to come up with the trap doors and all the latch I got all the pieces yeah and uh, yeah and is so is it fold and fold up and then there's a seat yeah yeah Oh, okay. And it just goes like that, and then you got the back seat. Yeah. And it latches Very like that. Cool. So you got to, then that, that back door will flip open into the trunk. Yeah. So, you know, you can stick a two by four in there, I guess, yeah. if you want to. <laughs> and it's got them, the louvered windows on the back, you know, and uh, front and rear spoilers. And, Got the dual exhaust with those pig's feet tailpipes. Oh, yeah. yeah. A little flip down gas cap gas on cap. the Mustang. Very cool. So. That is a beautiful color. You don't see many, you know, it, no. it wasn't, uh, it wasn't a, my choice of a color of a car to buy. Yeah. But. You know, after you have some a while, it all grows on you. you know? Yes. And, and a it, lot of people come by and they say, you know, you don't see that. Everybody's no. got a red car and a blue car. You yeah. Know? That's, or black. Yeah, lots of black. Yeah. So, and it looks fast just sitting here. So. And Phil, can we see the engine? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to open the uh, passenger door if that's okay. Yeah, I go see ahead. you've got the, uh, the clock on the got dash. Got the clock in it that runs. Oh, does it really? Wonderful. I think it's ticking. Probably see the second hand moving on there.
Now, have you done any work in the engine bay? Yeah, I, I uh, when I got it, it had an intake gasket leaking on it. Yeah. Like I said, I, I don't know if I said that, I went down to, found this car on uh, Facebook Marketplace, and I went to Paris, Tennessee to pick it up. Okay. I, I, I called the guy, and uh, I was pretty interested in it, and I was asking him every question in the world, you know, and he said, the best thing I can tell you is you better come down and look at this car. <laughs> so my wife and I jumped in her car, and it was like 5 o'clock on a Friday night. And yeah. I don't know. We drove six or seven hours down there and got a motel room and I was went over to this place and I was the first guy to come look at it and bought it and went back the next weekend with my truck and trailer and brought it home. Beautiful. He goes, oh, you can drive it home. And I look. <laughs> now, I, I'll just come get it. And yeah. Because I, I did see a little antifreeze on there, you know. Yeah. And when I took it apart, a couple of the bolts was rusted off there. You know, all the bolts weren't there. Yeah. They were sitting in there, but they weren't doing nothing. Yeah. So that's why it was leaking. So I fixed that. And uh, that's really about it. I ain't done a whole lot of work to this car. It was, you know, pretty decent when I got it. So, uh, but it, you just keep tinkering with them, you know, yeah. and upgrading a little bit here and there. Now, when we shot your convertible, your daughter was here. Yeah. She was saying it was her car. Yeah, she'd <laughs> like to have it. Yeah. Well, I got three daughters. So I got two Mustangs, and uh, I don't know. I might uh, there might be another one in the collection <laughs> coming up. You know, yeah, you then, gotta, then they all get something. Yeah, you got to make so, them happy. So, what is your favorite thing about the car? Oh, you know, it, it's it's just fun to drive. It, I like the shifting. I don't yeah. want to drive this. You don't want to drive this in the traffic. No. But, you know, when you drive up the road, all you got to do is let the clutch out a little bit, and step on second gear, and you get the tires to squeal. And yeah, my little grandsons, they really like that. You know? Yeah, but they're just—they're both got their, you know, their characteristic. The convertible is really fun to drive, and and so is this one because yes, it, uh, and is it a five four speed? Four speed. Four speed. Yeah. That's all the original drive line in it. Yeah, and you mentioned it was factory air. Yep. I didn't look at the vents, though. I want to go back and look at the vents. Yeah. Well, get in the door here on this side. These are kind of, kind of uh, the center dash in these things. The vents like that. That's yeah. how you close them. You know. Yes. And, and they just—that's all they do. And and just it's oh, okay. And you got one on each side yeah. over here. Yeah. Yeah, and the second hand is working. Working on the clock. I thought it worked. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. You know, pretty neat. Yeah, her shifter. Very cool. Yeah. And the bucket seats, I bet, are real comfortable. They, they're not bad. I mean, they don't feel like a new car anymore. No. But I'm pretty sure, I, I mean, these are what, I don't know if these are original seats in this car. Yeah. But this is what, this is what they had. In a way, you can tell another thing on the 69 and 70 Mustangs. 69 was the only one where this uh, lever is in the middle of the... And they moved it down here. Oh, okay. 70. Because, so this is only a 69 seat to the Mustang. And they said people, when they had to climb in the back seat, they would catch that on your clothes. Oh, yes. So they moved it down lower. Yeah, that makes so, sense. You know, people say, oh, I got a 6970 seat. They look the same, but that's what's different about yeah, it. Yeah, very cool. So, but other than the 69 and 70 Mustang Mach 1s, 70 doesn't have that scoop. Yeah. There on the quarter yep. panel. Yes. And the back tail light stuff's different. And then 69 was the Mustang of all the early generations that had four headlights. Okay. 70s. 70s went to two. Okay. They put a, on a 70 Mustang, they just got a, like a blacked out panel right here. Okay. And the headlights are in here and then they, then they, then they got a fog light up in the grill. I think they did away with the park light down on the bottom. Okay. And in 1970, then they also put a marker light in the back quarter panel. Okay. And they did that on a lot of cars. That that was safety features. It's a blinker. These are just markers. Yes. They had a blinker in the side. When they got out of the 60s, got to get a little more safety. Yeah. 
And I'm just going to do a quick walk around around your convertible and encourage people to check that video out. Yeah, get and, them to look at it again. Yeah. And Phil and I shot this early. I guess that was in the spring of this year, I believe. Uh, probably a couple months ago by now. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, check this out as well. And it's got a great story and another labor of love. That's interesting about the rim blow horn. I did not, the steering wheel, I did not know that. I shot a uh, 70 Barracuda and it had a rim blow horn and I never even knew, never knew there was such an animal as a rim yeah. blow horn. On the, on the Ford products, I mean, they put it in the Lincolns and the LTDs and yeah. and then and then that Mach 1 was the top Mustang, you know. Yes. So that's why they had them in that. Well, Phil, thank you so very much. It was okay. a, always a pleasure. and uh, We'll see you at some more, I'm sure. Yes, sir. Well, thank you again. You do a good job doing them. I, it. It's neat. to, And I, I've, I've been looking at your stuff. I go back and I didn't know you existed until yeah. I ran into you up there, you know. So, uh, yeah, it's neat to hear a guy's story and get to see their cars yeah. and, and all that. So, Well, thank you again. Okay.